Hey everybody! Welcome to this Facebook Live sponsored by Gamel. I'm Karen Farnsworth and I am one of the Gamel educators and I'm here to give you a quick maintenance tip today. All of us here at Gamel hope that you are weathering this storm of this virus and this crazy time in the history of our world. We hope that you're weathering it well, that things are going all right for you. We hope you're having more time, finding time for family and home, and maybe even finding some time to work on that quilting business or hobby. And to help you with that, we have these Facebook Lives twice a day, so don't miss it. Um, every day, 10.30 and 3 Central Time. So um, catch us for those Facebook Lives so that we can offer you some tips and some hints for your quilting and for your machines. So now, if you're just joining us, again, I'm Karen Farnsworth, an educator at Gamel, and I'm here in my quilting studio in Greentop, Missouri, and I want to share a quick maintenance topic with you, a quick maintenance tip. So first, a disclaimer, okay? Uh, I like disclaimers. So if things are working for you, don't make a change, okay? Based on something you see me do, if you're not having a problem, you don't need to fix anything. So there's that old saying, right? Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? That being said, if you are a computerized user and you find that your edge-to-edge -edge, um, rows are starting to overlap uh, as, you, as you move from one pass to the other, if you see that one end, the edge-to-edge -edge is creeping up or down, it might be because you're quilt is not rolling straight because your pickup roller or your bars are not parallel. That might be the problem. It could be other culprits, but that is one thing that we can check. Now, if you are a computerized or a hand-guided quilter, so for all quilters, if you find that your quilts are not rolling straight, it might be because your roller bars are not parallel. So if you have a lot of extra fabric on one side of the quilt than the other, Depending on how you load your quilts, you might be seeing that extra sag on one side of your table. Again, it might be because your roller bars are not parallel. So I want to show you how quick it is to check and make sure that that adjustment is correct. Those roller bars are parallel. And then I'll show you also how fast it can be to fix that if you need to, if you find you have a problem. So I'm going to step over here to the end of my machine. And I'm working with my Statler today, and I'm on one end of the machine, I want to take a measurement. I'm using a flexible tape measure, okay? So I've got my cloth tape measure here. And I'm going to run that around my belly bar and my pickup roller, because we want these two bars to be parallel the whole length of our machine. So I'll run that around. both of those bars and overlap that tape and take that measurement. Okay, so make sure you're on one extreme angle, you're not on the canvas, make sure that that tape measure is running straight from one roller to the other and take that measurement. If you're good with numbers, you can remember it. I'm bad with numbers, I wouldn't remember it by the time I got to the other side of my table. <laughs> so I need to write it down. That's the way things work for me. My measurement is 75. Your measurement's not going to be 75, every table's different. We all have different size heads and things like that. But the important thing is to have the same measurement on one end of your table as you have on the other end of your table. So if this doesn't measure the same as the other end, we might need to make an adjustment. So if I'm 75 over here, when I walk to the other end of my table and do the same thing and take a measurement over there, I want that one to be 75 as well. Again, 75 is my number, it might not be your number, but we want them to be equal. If you find that you do have a discrepancy, and it's different one end to the other, and you decide you do want to adjust that, that's pretty easy as well. Our three bar system here, if you have a frame like mine, is all mounted on an arm that slides into a tubing under our table. So all of this can be adjusted in and out if we loosen a bolt that's under here and a bolt that's under here. So I'm going to show you those bolts in just a second. It's just two bolts that you loosen. You don't want to take them all the way out. You just loosen them so that they're not holding tight onto your arm. 
and then you can move this arm in or out to adjust this side of the table to match the other side. You don't have to make a change to both sides of the table, just one side. And if you have a Statler, you probably have a monitor mounted on one end of your table or the other, right? So leave that side alone. Do yourself a favor and work with the side that doesn't have anything extra heavy on it because this is already going to be fairly heavy. So do yourself another favor and make your friend help you out, okay? So when you loosen those bolts, you'll just be moving this whole arm system in or out, whichever way you need it to go, to make this measurement from these two bars the same as the measurement on the other end of your table. Okay? It's not too difficult to do, just make sure you've got somebody helping you out if you need to. Now I'm going to come grab the camera so that I can show you those two bolts that I'm talking about. I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show you under the machine. Sorry, I forget I can't rotate. <laughs> this is what happens when you do the Facebook Live. So we've got one bolt where our arm comes in. Let me get the camera working here. Okay, we've got this one bolt right here. Okay, So this is where our arm is sliding into our table frame. Then we've got our second one back here. And you can use your 14 millimeter okay, on that. Just loosen it. Remember, you don't have to pull it all the way out. Just loosen it. Or any other wrench is going to work as well. Loosen those bolts. Slide that whole arm in or out to make those uh, numbers match, one end of the table to the other. Retighten those bolts, and that's all it takes. Let me turn this back around. Okay. Find that you have a problem with your quilts rolling straight or not rolling as well as they should or things not aligning with edge to edge, you may want to check your roller bars that they are parallel. All right. Um, I appreciate you being here with me today. I am going to go and check all the comments as soon as the live is over. And don't forget to join us for the next one. There'll be another tonight at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Central Time and every day, 10.30 and 3. Come join us on this Gamble Facebook page for our Facebook Lives. Um, and all of us here at Gamble hope um, and pray that you are staying healthy and happy. And again, thanks for joining me, and I will see you on Facebook.